Sunshine. How are you? Good. Hi, Linda. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. So I have seen some really, really cool artwork that one of your alters has drawn. He actually uh, produces a, a lot of art and it, you are compiling a, a Color My Soul Whole, a, an adult coloring book that will be launching later this year. And they're all drawn by your alter, Andre. Yeah. It, it, phenomenal, phenomenal art. Uh, in particular, I love the pages that have the eyes and such. They're very... They're very good. Tell me about Andre. Uh, how old is he, and what role does he play in the system? Um, Andre is about 25, and he is, uh, he's got long, dark hair. Um, he's Native American. Um, he doesn't, he's not a full personality, as, as to say, um, when I see him, I can see him, it, it's, like he's got the canvas in front of him or whatever the drawing paper in front of him he doesn't have legs okay um he's very gentle he doesn't speak a whole lot i mean there's really um no need for him to he he will answer you know but it's they're like one word answers uh, okay. because he's that uh i want to say spiritual kind of you know um in his drawings, there's a lot of them that, uh, like the ones you were talking about with the eyes, that have been hidden for a long time because Andre, you know, I think it portrays the inner system's feelings because each one of them kind of represent what has happened to one of the altars. So okay. he's aware of um, and the, you know, the window, the eyes are always the window to the soul. So it's, that is, have to, has to be, um, very detailed in order for him to be satisfied. You know, you have to look into that picture and know exactly what that, you know, what that feeling was, or you could take away what, whatever you have feel from that picture. But as long as there's a connection, there's always something within the picture that I find um, you will connect to. It's like a oh. picture within a picture within a picture. Yes, yes, but they're all very beautiful. Now, there are different styles. He doesn't always do faces. I, I, and I, I have seen a Native American uh, art that he's done. Is he the only artist in the system? I mean, you've got poets, yeah, but is there anyone else in the system that draws? Um, actually, I kind of do. Okay. Um, Rachel kind of does. Rachel doodles, okay. She she um she did do a little picture of uh like a moon in, with a face in it. Um and this was around the time a trigger time of a rape. So I mean I that was very new. I didn't know that that she was she could draw. Um, I like to try and 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 draw things, but you know I get frustrated. And, you know, when you get frustrated and you can't do anything, it's just like you just want yeah. to push it away. Yeah. That's when all of a sudden I can feel, you know, there, there's like this whole rush of calmness that comes over me. And then all of a sudden it just like goes blank. And then when I come to, Andre has taken over because there's something quite beautiful started on the paper. And, and it's amazing because sometimes it's just the eyes, not even any pupils or okay. anything. There's just something in there that's like... Oh my gosh! I wish I could just leave him like this because this is this is amazing. Well, when he comes out to draw a picture, does he stay out until the picture is done, or will he just come out, do a little part, then go back in and let a different alter come forward, or uh, like if he does only the eyes but not the pupils, is that meaning that um, he just wanted to get that on paper and then he wants to step back to let someone else come forward, or it, what? What's his so thinking he, there? Um, it's just his time period. Like there's sometimes if he's got an idea, um, and I found little sketch, little tiny books. Okay. That sometimes where he will have an idea and he will kind of sketch it out in his head and that ends up to be one of his drawings. Okay. So if there's something very pressing on him that he wants to get out and he's feeling it, 
um, then that's what he'll do because he knows that from just that one area, um, he'll just go, go from there. And that's usually what happens is that um, his best time is nighttime because I don't sleep like normal hours. Right. Uh, it seems to be very quiet when it's very quiet and it's just very, you know, serene is, is when, you know, I'll, I'll come to and I'll find the, the, the sketchbook, the, the pencils, whatever he has used out there on the table. And I, then I peek and look and see what, what's been done. And it's amazing because sometimes it's, um, it's like, wow, does, where does he get these ideas? You know, um, well, they're they're incredible, and so he doesn't necessarily come out and then not let anyone out until that picture's done. He comes out, does what he wants to do, and then and then goes back in. Is that right? Yeah, and then they'll finish it. You know, it okay. depends on what's going on. But I mean, like if he were to, I think if he were to stay on on a picture, it would take a while. Sure. Um, if if it's a smaller picture, yeah, he could have. He's done smaller pictures, um, like you know, for the coloring book, and he's done two in one night, and it depends on what's going on um, with the rest of the inside. Okay. Or, like, doctor's appointments. Sure. Um, but but there's, there's always that time that he takes, which he should, and that's how he creates. Um, and, and so does he come out every day? Yes. Okay. Okay. Is he willing to come out and say hi? Um... I, you can ask him. I, I don't know. He has never, I think he came out once before and just answered a question. Um, if you want to say, Andre, would you like to come out and see, then he might. I, I, I don't know. I, I would like to let him know uh, how gifted he is artistically. I, I'm blown away with every one I see. So, Andre, I would like to talk with you if you would like to come out for a moment. Thank you. I appreciate your feedback. It's beautiful. The, the, the drawings are astounding. You are astoundingly gifted. I mean, I'm I'm very very excited to compile your artwork in the Color My Soul whole adult coloring book for later this year because it's it's really a treat to see what you produce. I'm really just amazed. So, Andre, do you do anything else besides the drawings? Do you do any? You're very creative. So, is there any other art venue that you like to do? Um, no, um, I generally just, I, I do the art and that is my expression. Um, it's, it's their expression of what I see and, and what I feel or what I, I feel needs to be said. And that's what I do. Well, you do it beautifully. Thank you so much for treating us and treating the world with your talents because it's magnificent. And... I, 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 I stand in awe of your talents, and thank you, Andre. I, I appreciate you coming out and, and saying hello. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> you also. You take care. Goodbye. Okay, I don't know. Did he come out? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, wow, that's, that's very strange. <laughs> he usually doesn't, so he must feel very comfortable then. Well, you know, his artwork really is, I mean, it is, one day I have this vision of his artwork being in gallery, and I would like to see that come to fruition at some point. I mean, he's really, really gifted, and I'm excited for our followers uh, to see his artwork at some point down the road. I, I know that in the Color My Soul whole uh, adult coloring book that we're doing, uh, you know, the, the color won't be in there, but at some point we'll have the full color of his artistry to, to show to people. And, uh, I mean, blown away, blown away. But so is the poetry. I mean, you've got some incredibly gifted altars. And what an amazing... <laughs> You know, you know uh, what's that? 
I was going to say that there's just, there's so many, um, there's so many things that, like, like the poetry, and then there's the artwork, and then there's, there's, uh, wood burning, and then there's jewelry making, and then there's... So who, uh, who likes to do the jewelry making? Um, that is, um, the smart one. Okay. I think that kind of, I think she started that, um, to stop from, or to occupy her mind from, from throwing up. You know, because she's um, her eating disorder. Yes. So you know what she did though was amazing because she takes pieces of um, wood and then she will burn them. She will burn designs into them, or she will have Andre will will draw something and then she will just like a regular you know drawing and then she will burn. She'll it burn it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a. Uh, so she does both, the smart one does both the, the jewelry making and the wood burning. Is yes. that right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Boy, that's yes. amazing. That's amazing. Wow. A real treat. So, it well, is, you know. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel very, <laughs> like, ungifted, you know, because I've seen some of what um, your altars have created, and I'm just, I'm blown away. It's such a treat. So, so thank you very, very much, Sunshine, for sharing that with us. And please let Andre know that I'm very grateful that he came out for a moment and allowed me to, you know, express my appreciation for such gifted um, artistry. So thank you. That, that's a treat for me. So, thank you. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. All right. You have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.